tonight at least three of the survivors in El Paso remain in critical condition. Janet Chamlian is at University Medical Center of El Paso with an emotional bedside interview with a survivor. The first victims were outside the Walmart, a girls' soccer team fundraising with their parents and coaches. Maribel Latin was shot twice, then played he dead. Shot. He shot at us, like, individually, trying to get us individually. And then he came walking towards us to make sure we all got shot again to get killed. Amid the chaos, the 10-year-olds ran into the store where bakery workers sheltered them. Outside, several parents and coaches were bleeding on the pavement. The girls were crying. They were asking about their dads. They were asking about their moms. I knew where their dads were, but I couldn't tell them. Among those who lost their lives inside the store, 25-year-old Jordan Unchando. Her sister says Jordan collapsed on top of her two-year-old baby after being shot. A fateful fall that may have saved the boy's life. Jordan's husband, Andre, is among the missing. 60-year-old Arturo Benavides was also shopping, his family says. The Army veteran was with his wife, Nina, who survived. 26 of the injured are still in the hospital, like Maribel, but counting the hours until she's reunited with Maylene. What's it going to be like to see your daughter? I don't know. She's been strong for me, and she seemed like normal, but I know that the moment I see her, she gonna break down a brave mom concerned not with her own injuries but with the trauma her daughter and those other girls may have experienced tonight youth soccer leagues from across the country are reaching out to this team offering to help fundraise for them since their own effort was interrupted Nora mm -hmm. strong community outreach Janet Chamley and thank you